Here's the Apple Watch Series 11. I'm gonna show you how to set this up step by step. First thing is make sure you have the Apple Watch app installed. Just go to your app store and you can do a search for Apple Watch. And it looks just like this icon here. It just says watch. Go ahead and download and install that. Now also make sure that your Wi-Fi or your cellular as well as your Bluetooth are all on, okay? And then go ahead from here, go ahead and turn on your watch. Just press and hold that side button until it boots up to your about here. And then once you're here, you can get a pop-up. Sometimes it doesn't pop up. Let's see here. Okay, it's not popping up. Anyway, you, oh, there it is, it popped up. If yours doesn't pop up, it's no biggie. Just go ahead and uh, go to your Apple Watch app and then go ahead and, and tap on start pairing. Also very important, make sure that you uh, update the latest, I uh, latest iOS update on your iPhone, okay? Okay, so from here I'm gonna go ahead and tap on setup for myself. Now I get this camera and what do you know, this turns in here. Now let's go ahead and put that into the camera, kind of move it all the way back. Okay. Okay, so for me, there is an update for the Apple Watch because I haven't updated in ages, but you can go ahead and update if you have this now or you can do it later. For myself, I'm just gonna do it later. I'll skip update and continue. And it says that we're paired here. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on set up Apple Watch. Risk preference, mine's gonna be on the left, so I'll keep it there and I'll tap on continue. You can always change that later um, after all the setup too. Terms and conditions, go ahead and read through all that. And if you agree, tap on agree. Create a passcode, basic, basically a password, or you can a add a long passcode or don't add a passcode at all. I would advise at least create something now. I'm just gonna do create a passcode for myself. And it's gonna be a quick four digits on my phone or on my Apple Watch. And I have to reconfirm one more time. Okay, and now it's moving. Bold text inside, you can go ahead and continue. Right, and do that now, or you can set up later if you wish, okay? I, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue this. Go ahead and read through that. We'll tap on okay. Go ahead and input your information here, and once you do that, go ahead and tap on continue. And here you can set up activity, go ahead and read through that. For me, I'm not interested. I will, for myself, I will tap skip this step, but you can always go back to it as well later too. Workout route tracking, Apple Watch. Workouts uses your location to track routines and local weather for your outdoor workout. So that's up to you. So, but for me, I'll enable it. You can always dis, dis, uh, disable it later on as well. Sleep schedule here. I'm not interested. I will skip that. Get notifications about your health. Go ahead and read through this. I'll just go ahead and keep those on for myself. I'll do a continue. Read through this. Safety, emergency, SOS here. Let's tap on continue. And this is the one-handed gesture. So when you got the watch on, you have the wrist flick or the double tap. You can see you just double tap with the hands of the watch on and the wrist flick is just flicking your wrist over. Go ahead and read through that, tap on continue. Depth, when you're in water, go ahead and read through that. For me, I will put open when submerged. So the Apple Watch is now syncing. You get a progress bar on the watch. So we're just gonna wait here. But in the meantime, you can always go down here to get to know your watch. Tap on that. And you can go through these if you wish, okay? All right, welcome to Apple Watch. Let's tap on done. It looks like we are now in business. And there you go, pretty simple. Questions or issues, comment below.